Well, hey there. My name is Hannah Harris, and I am a traditional Irish fiddler and singer. Long before I got to this point, I was classically trained, which means I learned how to read sheet music. Now, in Irish music, they really do encourage you to learn more by ear rather than relying on the notes on the page. I personally believe that if you are classically trained or if you know how to read sheet music, you should use that skill that you've developed. It's, it's a tool that you've put time into learning and I really think that you should utilize it in the smartest way possible. So today I'm going to walk you through my process of how I take the notes of a tune off of the page and really internalize them into my playing. So here we are at my desk. Yes, I know it's very sunny, but you know, it is November in Northern Michigan and it is warm and sunny and I am living for it. So we're just gonna deal with this for the video. Anyway, I have been learning Liz Carroll's tunes out of her tune books, which are called Collected One and Collected Two. That's been my most recent project. So basically I've been going through and getting all of these tunes off of the page and into my head. Now, I've been listening to Liz's tunes for ages because she's one of my favorite fiddlers and I have a lot of her CDs already. So I'm very familiar with her style and with how a lot of the tunes go in her book. However, if this is a tune you want to learn and you've never heard it before, which can happen sometimes, I would highly suggest you find a recording of it and listen through multiple times so you really internalize it, get it in your head. You can find a version of some, some fiddler online or maybe you like listening to accordion players or flute players playing it and you want to kind of incorporate some of their uh, nuances into your style so you can always do that but your first step is to listen to the music okay so once you've got the tune in your head you've listened to it multiple times you feel comfortable that you're somewhat familiar with the notes then you can start to sight read from the sheet music and what I would suggest doing is to play through the tune at least four times most tunes are structured as AABB, -B -B, so you have two parts and they're repeated. So if you play it through four times, you're technically playing each part eight times. And the reason why you want to do this is because it's said, I honestly don't know who said it, but it's what I've always heard. You want to hear something seven times or you want to play something seven times before you really, before your brain locks in and you have got it memorized. You may have to go dig back in your brain a little bit and get a couple of notes here and there, but overall you've got the gist of the tune. So play it through four times at a minimum. So this is typically what I do when I'm going through Liz's tunes. I'll play through it for about four or five times depending on what tune type it is. If it's a single reel, usually I'll play through it maybe seven times just so you get the, the single line coming through seven times. That's really your goal is to hit each different phrase seven different times to get it into your head. So once you've done that, then I want you to put the sheet music away, but keep it nearby. So maybe if you're using a music stand, you can turn it around so you're not looking right at it. Um, and if you're like me and you're using your computer, I just kind of swivel my chair this way. Um, this is why I like having a swivel chair in my office so I can just spin around and not worry about looking at my computer screen. The uh, collected books are digital, uh, digital tune books, if you are curious. I know she's got print in a couple, I think in the first one. I'm not sure if she's released the print version in the second one yet, but right now I've just been making do with the digital copy. So that's, that's why I, I use my computer. So now you've turned your music stand around or you've swiveled your chair so you're not looking at the music and I want you to play through the tune as much as you can. If you get stuck, then you can look at the sheet music and really drill into your mind what that note is that you keep missing. Really pay attention to the different phrases and where your fingers are trying to go and then where your fingers actually should go. I do this all the time, especially with Liz tunes. She's got great phrasing, so if you really think about it kind of like a song, like maybe an A, B, A, C rhyme scheme, and break that down into two bar phrases, I really think that helps a lot in um, contextualizing it in your mind. So once you've figured out your patterns or your rhyme schemes or your phrases, however you want to label that, then it's time to bring the recording back out and you're going to play along with it. Now, 
maybe at this point you don't feel comfortable playing it up to speed and that's okay there's some apps out there that do allow you to slow down the song uh, the one I'm thinking of right now is the amazing slow downer and I know that's more for iPhone and Apple products but I do believe Android has a version I've heard of it somewhere and I'm fortunately I'm I'm blanking on it right now but if you want to know what that app is you can send me a message and I will look it up for you so what I personally do is I have a Spotify playlist of all of the Liz tunes that I'm learning right now. It's literally, it's just called Liz tunes. And I just press play and every day I'll go through and I'll, it's great for reviewing ones that I've kind of passed and move, moved on from. And then it's also great for the ones that I'm currently working on. So I'll listen to three or five and play along with them every day. And maybe sometimes more than that if I've got the time for it, but it's nice to just be able to sit and and play with Liz because you know you don't get to do that every day so whatever whatever collection whatever tune you are working on find a recording that you like and just really either slow it down or play it up to speed it's always a fun challenge to play it up to speed and just sit there and really absorb it if you need to just sit and listen to it again and then join in on the second or third time through the tune you absolutely can that also works all right, so that pretty much sums up my process for getting sheet music off the page. Now to recap, you're gonna listen to the tune a lot of times before you even get to the sheet music. Then you're gonna sight read and play through the tune maybe four times or whatever amount of time is the equivalent of playing each phrase through seven times. So that's your goal is to hit seven. And then you're gonna put the sheet music away or swivel your chair so you're not looking at it and you want to play as much as you can from memory until you get stuck. When you do get stuck, go back to the sheet music for reference and really drill in that little part that you're missing and then take it back to the memorization phase. Then you're going to listen to it and play along with it on whatever playlist you like and the more you do it, the more it will internalize and the more natural it will sound. If you found this video helpful to your practice, I send out a weekly fiddling email to my community and I basically just send a one bite-sized, easy to implement tip every single week that you can implement into your weekly practice routine. So if this sounds like something you would love to get in on, you can sign up below this video and I hope to see you there. All right, that's it for today. Bye for now.